Okay, so welcome back. In the last video, we were looking at um, applying a mass fill or a, fill, a filling selected tiles with our uh, tile, choice of tile. So here we have the um, the select effect going on, and we've got that on the um, when the page is ready we're applying a drag to select function to our map box and we're selecting any divs inside of that box and on our on the on hide function we're saying uh, any div with a class of jQuery drag to select we're removing the class of selected this is just um, because there's a bug if we don't actually do it. On um, the page I've also got a fill button which fills all the selected areas with um, our choice of tile. So down here on the uh, I've added an input and on this uh, type of button with a value of uh, just fill so it's what it states on the button <coughs> and on the on click event I've we're running a function called fill tiles now if we come up here to the uh, JavaScript you can see here the function of fill tiles and we're inside of here we're running a an each loop the for each loop and it's each item with the um, class of selected we run in a function and we're just saying this dot attribute uh, class equals the class of the JS tile hold which is the same thing we're doing on our place tile and this can be done with any of the um, tiles we're selecting. So if we just quickly build a little room, we're selecting all the tiles to fill with our standard uh, plain tile and then we'll just fill the top and the bottom rows with a horizontal wall and the left and right with a vertical wall. and then we can go in and put our corners. These corners I made uh, between videos. I also made a cross section and I'm yet to make a T section for each side. So I'll do that between uh, the next videos. So we have our um, single placement tiles and we have our mass fill our fill tiles uh, our fill selection <coughs> excuse me so the next thing we need to do is I'm going to create a little button which removes and adds the um, the grid so we can get rid of this border and the spaces in between so we can see what it looks like actually compact okay so welcome back from that little break between <laughs> I don't know anyway so the I've got our toggle grid button here and that just collapses the grid on itself uh, so you can see what it looks like without the uh, grid but apparently things are going to start buggering up on me now so I'm going to just adjust the CSS on here I'm going to remove the border on that so it's just the selected it's just the background that gets changed on the selected 
rather than adding a um, border on it as well. So there we go. There's our grid working. And to achieve this on the input button down here, I've got an on click of uh, toggle grid. And on the toggle grid um, function inside there, we run an if condition. And if the first child, uh, the first div child of the map box, uh, if its CSS margin does not equal zero pixels, then we want to remove the grid. And we do this uh, by running another each loop. And for each map box div we run the function and we select we say this CSS border is equals to nothing and that removes the border and the margin equals zero pixels and on the else we reapply the border so we say the CSS of border is one pixel it's solid and black and the margin equals one pixel. I've also had to reduce the size of the um, the map box div here by one pixel just to stop um, collapse of these divs because they're being floated. <coughs> so that's our um, grid sorted and we'll have a look at the effects on a proper you know a proper map now so there we go for argument's sake that's our map and we can toggle the grid and we can see what it actually looks like or what it will look like when we when the um, map is actually rendered in the game <coughs> so what's next we're going to look at saving the map um, into an XML format, uh, file format, and then after that, we'll look at making ver uh, each cell or making cells solid so that they can't be passed through. So we'll go and uh, so we we create a little save button and a place to name the actual file. Okay, so now I've worked on the making sol uh, tile solid. If we come over to here, you can see in this box here we have a big red X. Also, place two buttons down here. We've got a tile placer and change solid style uh, change solid tiles and we've got a mode now currently only this button works and what it does is it changes the on click attribute of each of these tiles from is it tile placer or place tile event there you know, function there and it changes it to, to uh, toggle solid It also changes uh, the text displayed on for the mode. So if we refresh and we have a blank background, currently we can place tiles as as we want. And you can see the mode says tile placer. If we say if we click uh, change solid tiles, the mode changes to solidize and when we start clicking these the big red X appears which indicates that these are going to be solid tiles now if we click it again the X is removed and they become non-solid tiles and we'll now we'll now go through the code which makes this happen so the first thing we'll look at is uh, the function of make solids and that function is tied to the event on the uh, on click for the uh, change solid tiles button and when that's uh, clicked 
we just change the text of the mode this, uh, I've got a span wrapped around here with a class of mode and we change the text of that to solidize and then we run another each loop uh, for every map box and div within that child uh, within that map box we run the function and we change this attribute on click and remember it's got to be a capital C there to toggle solid so when we click that button all of these tiles go from um, place tile to toggle solids and so let's look at the function of toggles uh, for toggle solid inside here we've got an if statement and the if says if the event target so the div that we're clicking on has the attribute uh, as the class of tile solid then we're going to remove that element that event that target so we're just going to remove that and that's what removes that um, that red X else we're targeting the um, the event, the div that we've clicked, and we're just appending a new uh, div to it, which contains a class of solid uh, tile solid. And that tile, that solid tile, is just um, another block in our tile sheet, and it's just a big red X. So the next thing I'm going to look at is making mass solids so rather than when we come over here you see we're currently on solidize we can still select a whole load of these and if we click fill we can still fill these with tiles and what we want to do is when we click that fill we want to change them all to red X's to indicate that they're solids okay so I've had to scrap the idea of f filling solids um, because there's just too many problems filling um, the same solid you know uh, tiles which were solid filling them again was just creating uh, more issues than it's worth I mean, anyone can feel free to try and rectify the situation and get it working themselves. But I mean, there's really no taxing issue just filling them in singly. To be honest, it's not like you're going to fill the whole board up with uh, solid tiles. Okay, so next, I think we're going to. Well, leave the video here and we will work on switching back to placing tiles um, before we work on saving the map into an XML format file. So I'm going to leave you here and uh, you can join me in the next video.